Buster Bosch Green Star 29 CDI Classic. Isolating the flow. Normally I would isolate the return there, but on this occasion I'm going to isolate the valve on the filter instead. That valve's now closed. Top valve's open and the return valve is open, but then the flow valve is closed. Silicon grease. I use this every time now when I repressurize the expansion vessel. I've not had to replace a Schrader valve for, for a while actually doing it this way. So loads of silicon grease. Right, that reading there is false because there's still water and pressure in the boiler so that's pushing against the expansion vessel diaphragm so even if there was zero pressure in the expansion vessel it would be showing as one because there's one on the pressure gauge so i'm just trying to take a little bit of pressure out of the bleed valve there <clears throat> didn't really do a lot because it's still over one bar. It's not the easiest filter to do this on. It would it, it would probably be better to just drain the boiler via the, uh, the drain valve with it within side within the within the casing of the boiler. There is a drain valve, and it, it, yeah, it would be easy to put your hose on that and do that. But I decided to do it using the filter on this occasion. So on this filter, you've just got the nut underneath, which undo, got to be really careful. If I just didn't unscrew that, you've got one bar of pressure of water. So it's a little bit, you've got to be a little bit careful. Even with taking that bit of water out, I'm still, Still got half a bar of pressure, so get this big bucket underneath and we should be okay to get that nut off and just drop the water out of the boiler. Right, there we go. The boiler should be on zero now. What have we got on the on the on the expansion vessel? We've got half a bar, so that is the correct reading now. So we're gonna pump the expansion vessel up. So it's on half a bar, which isn't too bad, but it's still a bit low, and we we're gonna pump it up now. Now we've gone to the effort of draining the boiler. And as you can see on the expansion vessel, the pressure, uh, the expansion vessel should be 0 0.75 plus 0 0.2. So that's 0 0.7 between 0 0.75 and 0 0.95. So we're nearly there now. Couple more pumps. 
and that's looking okay. So that was 0.75 and 0.95 the expansion vessel should be. Uh, this is another little trick I've started doing. I really do not like using leak detection fluid. So I've started using a bit of silicon grease. If it's leaking, you, you can hear it, hear it sissing and trying to push through the silicon grease. The silicon grease generally won't hold, hold any sort of pressure of air back. So give it a little rub over the top. If no air's coming out, it does. It's staying put and just leave the silicon grease on as well. Not going to do it any harm, so I'm happy with that. And that is job done. Well, not completely, put everything back in reverse order. And this is for gas safe engineers only. Thanks for watching.